back to the journey of Coach Polly Ben. It's week seven. Houston's coming off after a loss against the Chicago and their bye week. And they're looking to kind of right the ship. It's, it's uh, you know, they're on, they were on the verge. They were two and three, about to go into the bye week, try to make it three and three, but they lost. Took the bye week to kind of maybe fix some things, have some conversations, go back to the drawing board. And now they got a division game against the one and six Tennessee team. Obligatory screenshot here. And we're hoping to get right back on track. Try to have this outside shot of making the playoffs. And by outside, I mean outside and far. But we got to win the games that are in front of us. Division rival, Tennessee. Two and four team, one and six team. Something's got to give. The battle of the worst. Let's see again. One thing that uh, Houston has been doing really well is they have they have uh, really executed on their opening drives for the most part. They know what they're doing. They have their identity on offense pretty much. And it's mostly starts with this guy here, J.C. Crum. And an incomplete pass. Start the game on fourth down. Not typically they gave him a short field. Again, when you can't trust your defense, even deep in your own territory, you got to go for it on fourth down. That's that's saying something. And uh, they're right back on their typical rookie ways. Let's see if they can go out here and make this drive count, make this happen. And takes off once again. Right, looking to, uh, nope, incomplete pass up top, second and 10. Nobody's covered, of course, it takes off once again. So it's gonna be third and six. It takes off, third and fourth and three. So this second, second drive where they have it fourth down in their own territory. And oh my, last second heave on the sideline and somehow a magical completion. And go back to the running game. Not much happening there. It's been like that pretty much all season so far. The running game is non-existent. But they got to try to score before half. Tight ends open. And just over through them. Another fourth down and five. Third fourth down on three drives. And he gets rid of it again on a last second heave. That's two in a row. Essential, not necessarily Hail Marys, but you can pretty much call them a prayer anyways. Throwing the pass for negative one yards. And this team doesn't look right. They had a whole bye week to figure this out, get ready for Tennessee. And, you know, they just they don't look crisp right now. But even with that being said, they got a minute left in this half and they still have a chance to score. So we can't get on them too much. Gain of nine on first down. There we go. And the ball head off, and he dives into the goal line. He, he misses it. Uh, about one inch away, first and goal. And dives in for a negative one yard. Losing, losing yards. And he gets it in there. There we go. All right. So, the chance to either take the lead, tie, and they take the lead. 25 seconds to go in half. And they had the halftime lead, and Tennessee goes and takes, gets a field goal. So this team has a chance to drive down the field and take the lead here. Just got to execute during this second half, and they can be back on that winning ways. And tight end. All right, gain of 10. It's going to be second down in inches. Tight ends open once again in the seam to the 50-yard line. Here we go. Offense looking confident. Defense had a stand and just allowed a field goal in the opening third quarter drive. So Houston takes off. J.C. Crum. And an incomplete pass. It's going to be a long third down and six. Quick out. First down out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Nobody's open. And takes off for a gain of six. Houston is driving. Taking up clock as well. But 30 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Takes off once again. Dives in for the first down for a gain of five. Inside the 30-yard line. 20 seconds to go in the third quarter. 
Oh, shoestrings. Couldn't bring it in. It's going to be a long second down and 10. Quarterback takes off once again. Slides in for six. Got time for about one more play left in the third quarter. And nobody's open. Again, Tennessee's pass defense has been – and he couldn't dive in. It's going to be fourth down and one or fourth down and two. Going for it. Fourth down and one. Quick out to the running back. Gain of eight. All right, to the 12-yard line. Got about a minute, 50 seconds left in this game. Goes deep. Touchdown. Pert, gain of 12. Nice throw. Delayed. In for the score. Houston is up by six. And Tennessee takes it down and drives. A minute left in the game. Houston has a chance to drive down the field, get in field goal range, and instill this game on the road. It's 25-yard line. We go. 45 seconds left to go. Got to make use of their time. Use their timeouts wisely. Try to get out of bounds. Again, they don't have to drive the whole length of the field. Just get into field goal range. This kicker can make it from 60. He has proven it. And a nice shot to the tight end inside the 40. 25 seconds to go. Get to the out-of-bounds line. Get some yards. Okay. It's a quick gain of three. 17 seconds, 16 seconds, 15 seconds. Slant inside to the 44-yard line. Eight seconds, seven seconds left to go. This should be the last play. Get a little extra yards. Get down. Timeout. All right, here we go. Game-winning field goal. He's trying to steal a win. He's, and he's, it's going to be, it's wide left. Hits the upright. No good. Not enough power behind it, but he had enough distance. Just not the direction Houston wanted. All that, all that preparation. Come up that short. Got to make the plays. Winning teams make those plays. That's unfortunate. Well, the quarterback played good. No turnovers, really. Arm strength getting up there. All right. We're going to see it be in New Orleans week nine. So hopefully we can right this ship, get back on track. See you next week.